King Prithvinarayan Shah was an ambitious man. He wanted a greater Nepal, so he launched the unification campaign to extend the territories of Nepal far and wide, to build a country that would stand out into the maps of the world. While his lifetime alone was not sufficient to achieve this ambitious dream, he dedicated every last breath of his life towards the unification campaign and died in 5th January 1775. After the death of Prithvinarayan Shah, Pratap Singh Shah ascended the throne on 11th January 1775 AD at the age of 23. He was the eldest son of Queen Narendra Lakshmi and King Prithvinarayan Shah. He was born after his father had embarked on the conquest of Kathmandu Valley and he grew up during this period when Prithvinarayan Shah was fighting against the Malla kings. Prithvinarayan Shah had never been able to spend much time with his son. Pratap Singh Shah even got his education about Sastra, poetry and music in the absence of his father. He did not get any sort of military training whatsoever, though his father always wanted him to become a great warrior. When he had ascended the throne, it was heard from his Bharadars that his uncle Daljit Shah and his brother Bahadur Shah hatched a conspiracy against him. But the plot was detected and Bahadur Shah was imprisoned in Nuakot jail while Daljit Shah ran away. Bahadur Shah, however, was released later at the request of the chief priest Rajaraj Mishra and was allowed to go to Bathia. Pratap Singh Shah was a man of peaceful temperament. He was inclined to peace rather than to wage war. He maintained friendly relationships with his neighbors as far as possible. He concluded a commercial treaty with Tibet in 1775 September. He settled the disputes with Tibet over the counterfeited Nepali coins peacefully. He sent troops under the leadership of Kaji Abhiman Singh Basnet to Tanahu. He conquered it and annexed Uparadang, Gadi, and Chitwan. He attacked Athinga, the king of Morang, 17 times. On his 18th attempt, he succeeded in defeating him. He also waged war with Sikkim, but unfortunately, he could not conquer it. Thus, the Singh Shah could contribute a little to the unification of country started by his father Prithivinarayan Shah. Pratap Singh Shah wanted to reform the internal administrations of the country. and this task, he took Haji Swarup Singh Karki into his confidence. With his advice, Pratap Singh Shah divided the lands of Nepal Valley into four categories in order of productivity as Awal, Doyam, Seem, and Jahar, and planned to lower the revenue to the rate of one-sixth of the gross product. Pratap Singh Shah was very interested in Tantricism. With the help of Nepali scholars, he wrote a book called Purascharyanava. He made for the first time the custom of erecting a linga, that is, a pillar, in the Indajatra festival at Manumandoka. He had also organized a conference of Sanskrit scholars at Balaju, in which it is said that scholars from about 12 countries had participated. After reigning for two years and ten months, he died on 7th November 1777. Thus, Pratap Singh Shah became the ruler of the shortest tenure in the modern period of the history of Nepal. Well, that is all about Pratap Singh Shah. He played one of the important roles in the unification campaign, even though it wasn't much. Well, hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and do tell us about what kind of videos you would like to see from us next. Well that is all for today, thank you and have a good day.